the first app I have is PixArt. The app offers so many tools that will make you confused about which one to use. Some noticeable tools and features are adding multiple layers, blending one photo into another, cloning, drawing, and community where you can upload and browse photos. The app is not easy to use, but with the time, you will master. The second app I have is Snapseed. Like PixArt, it offers some amazing tools, but the feature I like the most is not changing the pixel of the photo. If you edit a very high resolution photo, you get the same resolution photo back. Other photo editing apps do not offer that. Snapseed is developed by Google and is known as one of the great photo editing apps on mobile phone. The third app I have is Photo Director. I have used the PC software and the app is also something good. Photo Director app provides common features such as exposure, contrast, but the feature I like the most is the auto button. In every tool, you can just tap on the auto button and the app will auto adjust only that tool. Moreover, you get one free cloning tool every day. I know it's not a lot, but for free, that's all you get. Other than that, the app reminds me of PixArt because some of the features, adding an image, cutout, dispersion are the same. There's no doubt that the app is developed by one of the trusted brands. I feel like the app offers the most common tools to edit your photos. It does not offer advanced options such as layering or blending, but you can find tools such as eye remover, frames, stickers, effects, text editor, and more. It also offers to add a watermark on the photo. The next on the list is PixelR. Like Photoshop, the app does not offer many advanced tools. So if you're looking for something simple, then the app is for you. Some features include auto fix, heal, red eye remover, so many effects and filters, and an advanced text editor tool which offers to change the text color, font, size, and more. Moving on, with over 100 million downloads, the app comes in the top list. The app offers a couple of unique tools, including the mirror with many options and the spiral tool to add glowing effects to your photos. Apart from that, you get tools including background blur, effects, text editor, filters, and sketch, which create sketches of people in the photo. The only problem I find is many banner and pop-up ads. If you don't care about advertisements, then the app is a must-try app. The app Photo Editor Pro, also called Polish, is yet another one of the best. The app offers some great tools for free. Some remarkable tools include fit to add background, text editor, stickers and emojis, neon effect for growing photos, drawing, double exposure, image layering, photo mirroring, and more. Overall, the app offers more tools than 75% of the apps on the App Store and Google Play Store. The next app we will explore is Airbrush. Alongside some common tools, the app comes with AI-based beauty and makeup tools. The problem though is, you need an image with a clear person as the app sometimes does not recognize the person in the photo. The app also offers a My Kit feature to add tools that you mostly use. Some of the tools of Airbrush are Retouch, Magic Fix, and Reshape. The app may not be the ultimate stop, but if you are a beauty enthusiast, then you should check this app out. Okay, the app requires an account to use, and it was one of the first apps to offer filters. The app is not just an editor. It is similar to Instagram as it offers the feed sections where you can browse the photos posted by others. All the tools are down below with a black background which reminds you of Photoshop or vice versa. Some of the free tools are Exposure, Crop, Sharpen, Clarity, Split Tone and a recipe option to create a recipe of your edits. The membership offers more extended tools but the free app comes with enough to edit your photos. Alright, don't forget that we have a younger brother of Photoshop. The cloud-based photo editing app is popular enough for this list. The app offers basic tools such as filters, auto adjustment, exposure, contrast, highlights, photo information, and more. There are a few other tools 
but those come with Adobe Photography subscription. I feel both Photoshop and Lightroom have the same features except you get to see new tutorials in Lightroom to learn to become a pro editor. Anyway, so here we end the top 10 best free photo editing apps video. I hope the information was useful. Please let me know your views down below. Also, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel for more about Android and iOS. My name is Matsudan and I need some water now.